welcome to How to Find More Direct Clients Than You Can Poke a Stick At podcast, a mix of both solo episodes and expert interviews. Our ideal listener is an early career, ambitious, and passionate online language services provider. She is committed to professional growth and achieving success in the fiercely competitive translation and interpreting industry. She balances multiple responsibilities with resourcefulness, values mentorship, is open to learning, and investing in her professional development journey. She embraces technology and seeks to optimize workflow, eager to connect with like-minded peers and build out her professional network. She is determined to overcome challenges and become a sought-after freelance translator. And here's your host, medical translator and translator business mentor, Jason Willis Lee. Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Let's talk about Google website indexing this week. Um, so indexing your website on Google is a crucial step to making sure you and your business get the visibility you deserve. It is the process by which search engines like Google, and Google is a search engine like any other, discover, crawl, and include your website pages in its database. When your website is correctly indexed, you have a much, much better chance of um, appearing coming up in search results, driving organic traffic, that's non-paid, unpaid traffic, organic traffic, and potential prospects to your to your online stores and your online doorstep. This matters for three reasons. Number one, it boosts your visibility. So index pages are more likely to appear on search engine results. Number two, it improves the crawl efficiency. If you submit your sitemap, it helps the search engine understand your site structure and makes it easier for engines to crawl and index your content. And number three, if you regularly update your website signals to search engines that your content is current and relevant, it has a positive impact on your ranking. So the steps to, to Google your, to index your website on Google are, first of all, submit your sitemap. So mine is, a sitemap is usually site, colon, and then the website domain name, dot com. So mine is site, colon, entrepreneurial translator, dot com. Um, and you submit this to Google through a tool called Google Search Console. So this is crucial to get the efficient crawling and indexing. Keyword op optimization. So if you search and do some research on your relevant keywords for your contents. It helps search engines understand the context of your pages. Use keyword tools such as Google Keyword Planner, SEMrush, or Mangles. Quality content is key, so make sure you're uh, drawing up regular, high-quality, informative, and engaging contents that resonates and impacts with your target audience. Um, remember that Google rewards valuable content with higher rankings. Have a bank click, a backlink uh, strategy. So develop a strategy for backlinks to your to your online assets to build trust and authority. So quality backlinks from reputable external sources really contribute significantly to your website's credibility. And finally, um, a user friendly design is important because this uh, Google favors websites that offer a positive user experience, including fast loading times and responsiveness for mobile. I recommend staying um, staying up to date on your analytics. So use Google Analytics to track key metrics such as organic traffic, so unpaid traffic, bounce rates and conversion rates to understand exactly how users are interacting with your site. And this provides valuable insights for ongoing optimization. Uh, if you index your website on Google and implement an effective SEO strategy, you are basically heading towards improved rankings on search engines and better online visibility, which is what you want. You want to make it easier for prospective clients to, to find you. So remember, SEO is a journey, uh, not a specific destination. So stay consistent, adapt to the evolving trends, and watch your online presence hopefully skyrocket. So good luck with Google website indexing and SEO, and I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, stay in your game, and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Here's a fun fact about Jason. Jason loves reading John Grisham thrillers in his spare time. Thanks for
for tuning in to the How to Find More Direct Clients Than You Can Poke a Stick At podcast. We'll be back soon. In the meantime, why not head over to www.entrepreneurialtranslator.com to access all our tools and resources to monetize and future-proof your freelance translation business. And don't forget to hit the plus button in Apple Podcasts or iTunes or subscribe in Spotify to be notified when new episodes drop. For regular tips and insights, business strategy, or marketing techniques straight to your inbox, please sign up at www.entrepreneurialtranslator.com.